Welcome back to Hello everybody and welcome back to Drunk Happy Gamers and welcome back to another Final Fantasy Record Keeper Relic Tour. It hasn't been so long since I last did this, it has it, but this time we're on my old account because, well, there's one particular thing that I'm after here, um, but I'll get to that a bit. So, let's have a look at the relics quickly. We've got, um, Nishtala's Ultra. Uh, which grants major regen and shield to all allies, enabling them to avoid one physical or magic attack and remove delay from the user's actions for one turn, effective against most physical attacks and spells. So the shield in itself is going to be pretty useful, I think, um, and it grants major regen. Uh, what else have we got? Let me look through this a little bit more closely. With one physical or magic attack, remove, remove delay from the user's actions for one turn. All in all, I'm not so keen on this Ultra Soul Break. Um, I mean, it will be useful in certain circumstances, but I don't think it's going to be a priority when Asylum is, like, amazing for healing and stuff like that. Um, okay, it's gone back to that. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, so now we got Minfilia's Ultra. The Call of the Stars, grant haste to all allies, and temporary raise their attack and magic a moderate amount, and resistance a small amount. And out of this, I think the this is the best ultra in the banner, definitely because it's basically a onion buff and with a, a little bit of resistance attached to it as well. Uh, let's see, anything? Razor attack and magic is moderate amount or resistance smaller. Nothing else there, but yeah, the onion buff in itself is going to be useful if you don't have onion knights BSB. Uh, okay, let's go on to the first BSB, which is Magic Tech Repeater for Sid from 14. I have no idea who this character is. I've never really played 14 that much. I've never played it at all, actually. <laughs> so anyway, deal 7 range physical earth and non-elemental attacks to all targets. Temporary lower their earth resistance and grant haste and burst mode to the user. And it's got shoot and reload. Deal range physical earth and non-elemental damage damage to one target and temporary grant reload to the user. Reload stacks up to three times as an effect to split shot. Okay, so it's another charging soul break just like draw and junction. I'm not sure how powerful it is. I'd have to actually use it myself. A split shot. Deal full range physical earth and non-elemental attacks to the target. If the user has the reload buff, chance to Temporarily lower the target's earth resistance a small amount and remove reload from the user. Chance to lower resistance ranges from small to very high depending on the level of the reload buff. Okay, so if you charge it three times then it pretty much removes any earth resistance that the enemy has got. That could be very, very useful. And it's also got an earth, so deals more earth damage, pretty cool. Now we've got Asylum, adds a minor resistance to sleep with this um, with this armor. Um, I think most people can wear it because it's a hat, and so that's in itself pretty damn useful. And I love this BSB, I've got it on my main account. Restore a large amount of HP to all allies rather than barrier that negates attack damage up to 30% of their max HP. Basically stone skin, and it's awesome. And Tetragrammaton. Instantly restore a very much large amount of HP to one ally, and Medica restore a small amount of HP to all allies. I use the Tetragrammaton quite a lot. I've heard that the Medica is probably the best one to use, but I still find Tetragrammaton a lot more useful in terms of the Apocalypse battles. But I could be wrong, so don't go on my judgement, apparently. <laughs> okay, so we've got Leader's Burst which I've also got, um, has a small boost to fire damage with these knuckles, and that's pretty cool as well. Attach, um, giving a, a little boost to your damage is great for BSB in itself. Uh, deal 8 physical fire and non-elemental attacks to one target, temporarily lower its attack, magic, defense, and resistance to large amount, but hasten burst mode to the user. When I started using this BSB, when Yuga was level 99, um, that full break on entry was very useful for me, so I, I used it instantly with Mako Might, and it worked very well for some compositions of my team. 
Snap Punch. Deal 4 physical fire on non-elemental attacks. One target temporarily raise the user's attack and grant them Bruce Lightning. Reducing the delay of the user's actions and stacks up to 3 times. Basically, you'll get faster and your attack will be raised every time you use Snap Punch as long as you don't get hit. Which is very situational, granted, but if you've got Yishto's BFB as well as the second man, command, Fists of Earth, grant the user a barrier and negates attack damage up to 30%, basically stone skin again, um, that can be, you can combo those two together and make it so she can't take, you can't take any damage, but then again you lose Breeze Lightning, but then you've still got the fire damage, so it's not too bad. Okay, so we've got Yishtula's Legend Material, Ironworks Healing Robe, Master of Mending. Moderate chance to cast sooner when healing a single ally with a white magic ability. Having that as an attachment is pretty useful, especially since loads of enemies now use status afflictions. Um, but you can do without it, I guess. It's, it's alright. I mean, you can mostly attach an accessory to your characters that can block these effects and that works just fine. Okay, so we've got Minfilia's um, Legend Material. Uh, material, sorry. Uh, increase the duration of stat buffs generated by user related effects. That's more than that. Applies to most stat buffs and their effects. So if you get um, Minfilia's Ultra or her original Super, which increases attack a large amount, this would be very useful to have. Otherwise, I guess, Again, you could probably do without it. I'm, I'm not sure. I've seen better Legend Materia ones, especially Vans or not Vans actually, it was someone else's. I can't remember. Anyway, we've got Garland Goggles for Sid, as there are supers. Deal range physical fire and non elemental damage to seven random targets and temporarily lower their fire resistance. Not so good for Sid, actually, especially as his BSB is mainly Earth Element. Unless his. Uh, Unless it's like Ultra or something, it's going to be fire related, but then that makes his BSB a little, little less practical to use. Okay, but all in all, if you get the super, not too bad I guess. Holy Shield, this one's a really good one, I like it. I, I, I used it um, pretty decently actually, it was great help in order to just beat, uh, beat this one Sid mission I think it was in the Zenith, in the Mired of Crisis. I don't know, anyway. So this shield adds minor holy resistance, which can be useful because most people can equip shields. And temporary raise the attack of all allies a large amount and grant them last stand. Last stand, it, uh, you know it, it's probably obvious that it's very useful. And a large attack boost is going to be good as well. Now we've got Yishtala's Super Omni Rod. Protect shell and major region to all allies. Not so much useful in terms of the healing, you probably want the BSB for that. but then it's protecting shell, it frees up some slots and it adds a major regen so if you have the major regen ability equipped you don't need it anymore. Alright this is the one I'm really after, Stone Skin 2 Thyrus and it raises the prize defense and resistance a very large amount. I really need a wall for this alt account and this is why I'm pulling on this banner to begin with. So without further ado I guess we're gonna Give it up with 50 Mithril. Here it comes. Let's see what we get. And we get. We get two. Alright, not too bad. I'm probably going to pull a second time if I don't get it, but here we go. We got an eye patch. We got a, a breastplate. We got a Kenpogi. Uh, a helmet. A flame staff. A poison knuckle thing. I don't know what. If it is poison or not, but there it is. Uh, we get a pickaxe, sledgehammer thing. We get a sword. Now our gold is ah the black garb. That's pretty useful. I've got that now. And we get virus. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Fantastic. And we get Omni Rod. So that's pretty good. I'm not. I'm pretty hyped. Pretty glad about that. Awesome. Fantastic! Alright, so uh, basically I can free up slots with Protect and Shell, and also I can use Wall now. 
That's fantastic. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like the video, please stick your thumb where everyone can see it. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.